Hi guys, if you can't lock or unlock your doors using the fob, right now as you can see only the rear door will lock, but not the front ones. Most likely the cause of the problem is the door lock actuator is out of order. We have a new part here, which we will install and this should fix this problem. As you can see there are two screws behind the plastic cover. Now you'll need to disconnect this connector. And right here we have to remove this clip, plastic clip from the rod. And then you can take out the rod like that. This is a plastic clip, and here you have the connector. There is another screw right here. Now we can remove two screws underneath the door handle. There is one right here and here. Now we'll try to pry the panel. For some reason we have sunflower seeds inside the door. Disconnected before. And uh, one more connector. And this is how our panel looks. The actuator is located right here, you can see two connectors, that's what we're looking for.
this gives us a little bit of uh, room to remove connectors. So it's connected with both connectors. That's how they look. This one goes on top, this on the bottom. Now we will remove these three bolts. These bolts are very tight. That's why you have to use the special screwdriver. Now we will need to remove this bolt. This one holds this uh, metallic guide for the windows. And there are two more rods up here with plastic clips that have to come off. So we managed to remove the whole mechanism. You can see the black actuator right here. It was pretty challenging. For that we had to remove this metallic guide for the window. But the most challenging part was to remove this rod. For that we had to use this tool. Cobra pliers. Cobra pliers. And only using this pliers it was we were able to pull it out Не поддержать на рукой. Не держится. Okay, so guys, you have to see how this pin coincides 
and how these pin coincide, and these two as well. small bolt that holds everything together. So the last step inserting the black plastic panel. Like that. Now we're ready to put everything back together. Since it's very complicated to film over there, we will quickly show you what we'll be doing. This one, this piece goes right here. Two more rods will be connected inside. After that, we'll have to reconnect, reinstall this guide, and use a bolt to secure it in place. This is a problematic rod that was hard to remove. Time for the connectors. Now we're ready to reinstall the cover. Before we proceed, uh, we have to we have to locate this cable and uh, install it back in place.
and the connector gets connected as well. Don't forget the screws. There's one right here. And there are two more screws, small ones. Done. All right, we finished installing both door actuators and look what happens. Everything works on both doors. I'll show you the second one. Perfect.